Hi everyone, this is Atik. I once again welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Dear students, in my today's session, I will be showing with all of you how you can use Spider application. Spider is a very very important application if you are interested to implement various types of Python programs. Not only it supports textual based programs of Python, but also it supports GUI based programs. So, how you people can use this application and what, are, what is the necessary tool if you want to use this application in your computer. Let me show you. First of all, you need to install one application named Anaconda Navigator. So, already I have told you in my previous video, I have shown the procedure also how to install this Anaconda Navigator. If you have not, if you have not watched that video, you can watch that video. I have given the link in the description as well as in the i button at the top right corner. You can see and you can click on that first. Okay. Once the Na Anaconda Navigator is installed, okay, you need to click on this to open this application first. Okay. Now, let, uh, depending on the speed of your computer, wait for some seconds and the Anaconda application will be opened in front of you. So here it is, the Anaconda application has been opened. Now in this, as I mentioned in my previous video also, there are several tools this Anaconda Navigator supports. Many are already, come, they will come along with this Anaconda package and there are some you need to install separately like this, which is given here, like uh, GlueWiz, Orange 3, PyCharm Professional, Okay, and then R Studio. These are not install, not installed automatically. You need to manually install them. And there are some tools which have already been installed, and they came along with Anaconda application as a package. So, like this, one tool is the Spider, which I am going to show in my today's video. So, this Spider application, I will recommend all the students if you are interested to do Python programs, then Spider is one of the very very important and user friendly application okay the good thing about spider application is not only it supports textual based programs but also it supports very interactive based programs with full gui okay that is one of the benefit now in order to use this application first of all you need to click on this launch okay no need to install separately just click on this launch and it will show you it is showing you launching spider so wait for some seconds okay and uh, the spider application will be open so the spider application has been opened now it, it will take some time when you open it for the first time okay now it is showing you connecting to kernel so you need to wait for some seconds okay so all these applications which are based on data science projects machine learning projects they are quite heavy so you need to have a little bit good configuration in order to make this applications to run smoother so my dear students now you this is the interface of your spider app spider application so this is the place so you can see here the left side where you need to type your python programs and this is the place where you can see your output this is console so here you can see your output okay and this is the place here also you can see this is plots here you can see your GUI based outputs means if you want to interest if you are interested to draw bar charts if you want if you are interested to draw other types of GUI based graphs then the, all, the entire output of the Python programs will be shown here in this panel. So let me show you one sample program now how you people can type the program and how you can see the output. Okay so already one temp.py file has been created. So here in, in, you can type your python program. So let me increase the size okay so that it is clearly visible to you. So you can press windows plus button on the keyboard if you are using a windows operating system. So for example if I want to write a small python program let us say addition of two numbers. So a is equal to 10, b is equal to 20, c is equal to a plus b print C. So automatically it will give the syntax also to you how you can use this application now how you can use this concepts okay in this application like print print is a function in python which is used to display the output and what are the things that print function supports each and everything will be given here as a description to you okay as a help now this is a small python program which I have written which calculates and displays sum of two numbers. So here we need to get the output 30. So in order to see the output, 
you can see at the top of the menu bar several buttons are there several options are there here so let me make this one large the window okay and you can see here there is one button you can see run file or f5 button you can press from the keyboard okay this button is used to run your python program interpret your python program so you will get the output here in this window that is console so how to see the output so just click on this run and here you can see this is the output that is what you got 30 is the output okay so let us say one program i have completed i want to open one more program now how to open the new program in the spider application so simply you can see one icon here which is in, which indicates new file so click on this and it is ready to go again so here again you got this new window with some program already so erase this one delete this one okay again windows plus button you can press to make this screen large to increase the font size okay and here you can start your program again for example here in this case i want to write a python program to calculate average of two numbers so what i will do a is equal to let us say 10 b is equal to 15 c is equal to a plus b okay divided by 2 now print c so this is my average i want to display so let us say directly i have typed this program now if i want to see the output click on this run file so you got this output what you got output here you got this output 12.5 so dear student this is how simple this application will be in order to run and type in order to type and run various types of python programs these are the simple programs i have taken in order to give you idea about the working of this application now the next thing in this application is typing completed and we have run the program also how to save this program suppose by default untitled 0.py is there in order to save this program simply click on this icon save file okay and here by default untitled 0 is there you can give your name for example average.py okay click on save now you can see your program has been saved successfully okay and you can run this program several times to see your output whether it will it will match your input or not input data or not so we got 12.5 so when we see our input 10 plus 15 25 by 2 that is 12.5 is the accurate answer so dear student this is how you can use the spider application in order to run your python programs so any types of doubts any types of queries simply you can put it in the comment section so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah